Jane Goodall, we all know you primarily for your work with, as a primatologist and for your work with chimpanzees in, um, in Tanzania. Uh, at least that was how your work began. What, what, have you, what can you tell us about what you have seen in terms of what works to protect the forests for the future? Okay, well, you know, for the first years I was immersed with the chimpanzees and that enabled me also to be immersed in the rainforest. And there it was that I learned the interconnection of all living things, the importance of every little species in maintaining the biodiversity of an ecosystem. And for me also, the forest provided a very strong spiritual connection. I left this amazing, wonderful period of my life when I realized at a conference in 1986 that all across Africa, the rainforests were disappearing, all the forests were disappearing in Africa and chimpanzee numbers were decreasing and I just felt I needed to try and do something about it. I didn't know what to do. I went to Africa because I think you need to see firsthand what's going on to talk in a meaningful way. And yes, I visited several countries where chimpanzees range. I learned a lot about the problems facing them a major one in most areas was deforestation. But at the same time, I was learning about so many of the, the terrible problems faced by African people living in and around chimpanzee habitat. In some cases, crippling poverty, lack of good health, lack of education, and everywhere with human populations growing, the degradation of the land. And when I flew over the tiny Gombe National Park, where I began in 1960, when it was part of the equatorial forest belt across Africa. By 1990, it was a small island of forest surrounded by completely bare hills. And it struck me then, there were more people living there than the land could support. The farmland was overused and infertile. The steep slopes had been denuded of trees in people's desperate effort to find more land to grow more food. Terrible soil erosion, the little streams getting silted up. And that's when it hit me. If we can't do something to improve the lives of these people, we have no hope of even trying to save the chimpanzees. It just won't work. And so it was in 1994 that the Jane Goodall Institute began its program Take Care, or Takari, as it's known, in the 12 villages around the small Gombe National Park. A very holistic program. Not a bunch of arrogant white people going into a poor African village and telling them what we were going to do, but a very small hand-picked group of eight local Tanzanians going into the villages and asking them what they thought we could do to help them. It turned into a very holistic program, restoring fertility to the overused farmland without chemicals. Couldn't afford them for one thing. It was a very small grant from the European Union. And then as the people came to trust us and we got the Tanzanian authorities to do something about improved education and health, they, they welcomed other interventions that we suggested, water management programs. Uh, and then scholarships to keep girls in school during and after puberty because it's been shown all around the world as women's education improves, family size drops, and it was the growing human population that was the worst problem, destroying the forests in this area. And then we introduced uh, microcredit based on Mohammed Yunus's Grameen Bank, and this was mainly for groups of women who could take out tiny loans for their own environmentally sustainable project, like tree nurseries. Many of them had tree nurseries, and we provided the seeds and they sold the little saplings. And finally, we also gave workshops 
to the local people on family planning. And so it was a little group of local people who went around talking about family planning, which was well received. Because as the baby's health improved, so the women realized that they could have better control over their lives. Yes. It worked so well that that little program is now in 104 villages throughout chimpanzee range and it's a very multi Tanzania. it's a very multi-layered program do you mind jane if i ask you just to pull your microphone a little bit closer to you because i think i think that will be better okay. for everyone but that, is it your belief that that kind of approach can work anywhere in the world yes well we've now oh that's better isn't it that we've now introduced that program to six other african countries including, you know, the Amazon is one of the great tropical rainforests and the Congo Basin is the other. So we have two programs in the Congo Basin using the same kind of approach. And it's very sure that there are forests standing and expanding and chimpanzees and other animals in those forests that wouldn't be there if we hadn't moved in. And so we not only have the local people understood that protecting the forest isn't just for wildlife, it's for their own future. And so we've taught them the use of smartphones so that they proudly, volunteers from the villages, go into their forests and monitor the health of the forest. And they're very proud of this work. And so we've not only helped them understand the importance of conservation, but we've given them the tools so that we can move away and eventually they can do it for themselves. Wonderful, wonderful to hear about that. Um, Vice President Gordon.